Well, welcome back, everybody. Um, before I hand it over to John and Chip for closing remarks, I want to thank all of you on behalf of the Bureau of Justice Assistance and our training and technical assistance team for attending the 2022 Body Worn Camera National Meeting. You will all be receiving a certificate of attendance from our TTA team soon to complete your grant requirement. As a reminder, you will receive an evaluation in the next few days. Please do complete it as we want to hear from all of you. And this will help us expand and improve future events in our program. And on one final note, all of the sessions were recorded and we'll, we will get those posted and up to our TTA website soon. So thank you again, and I'll turn it over to our Body Wearing Camera TTA Program Director, Dr. Chip Coldren. Chip. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, Brittany. And here we are at the close of our three days. I'm just going to say, personally, I have been engaged and interested in everything that has happened at this meeting. And I'm very appreciative of the participation that we've had, the presenters that we've had, obviously, the work that our team has done, you know, behind the scenes and in, in front of everybody to pull this off and our support from John and BJ. So I want to say that just a couple other just points I'm taking away from the sessions I attended today. Uh, it was refreshing and fun to see the level of interest in body worn cameras and corrections. That was a well attended session. And I think there's a rich variety of applications going on in corrections right now that I was not fully aware of implementation issues, policy issues. So I just think there's a lot of fruitful ground to be covered there in the upcoming months and year as BJA continues to support cameras and corrections. So that was that was uh, interesting and encouraging. A lot of challenges for us, for the sites and for you know the TTA providers to keep pace with technology and understand what's going on and you know quickly turn that information around so people get some help in thinking through the issues and the uh, you know decisions they have to make heard a number of times some themes that carried over from yesterday in terms of the challenges around integrating cameras with other technology systems and digital evidence management and again central to all that is the role that prosecutors play and the need to conscientiously reach out to prosecutors and work with them on the implementation of these programs. I could say a lot more, but um, those are the, the big ideas on my mind right now. I'm just, I've really enjoyed this. I'm really happy that we were able to pull this off. And uh, John, I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, well, first of all, um, I think you had, everybody here works in an organization that complex. And so you realize there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes of not just putting this three-day meeting together, but just keeping this project afloat from the technical assistance to the grant administration to soliciting the award. And so I think we um, gave you a flavor of a lot of the things we do and what we can do for you and what we want to do for you. So again, don't be shy in reaching out to us, whether you have a substantive question about implementing your grant program or whether you're still in the process of getting your budget cleared you should have the information on who to get to, who to reach out to. Challenge here was also that we have you know, agencies of various sizes uh, operating in different contexts. We have grant administrators and we have sergeants and lieutenants and chiefs who are sheriffs who are implementing body worn cameras in small departments pretty much on their own with a lot, not a lot of support. So we tried to speak to all of you, which is a difficult task. One size doesn't fit all, but Hopefully, we provided some engaging material. Don't stop with this. Engage in your wider community and your neighbors and your prosecutor's offices. Check the map on the, w, the BWC TTA site to see who has grants near you. And just keep the dialogue going among yourselves. I think a lot of you are doing that. Hopefully, we've ignited um, that flame in some of you who are just new to the body-worn cameras and just getting immersed into this sort of complex and varied and very dynamic field. So thanks to everybody at CNA, my colleagues at BJA, all the presenters. This really, I think, came off well. I hope you agree. Fill out the evaluation. Let us know what you think and provide constructive information, feedback on what we could do better or what topics you need help with or would like to learn more about. With that, I'll close it off. Thanks so much. Thanks, everybody.